Okay, last step. Last step, we are gonna put this into uh, After Effects um, and export it. Or at least get it to the point where you would export it. So, what I'm gonna do is save. Um, I'm gonna save this project, so I'm gonna call it File, Save As, C, Cox, Logo, Reveal. Okay, and I'm gonna hit Save. You can see my Untitled is still in there. I'm gonna hit Save. Um, okay. And now I'm gonna go to After Effects, back to After Effects. And I'm going to, let me just start a new After Effects project. Minimize all this. Double click on After Effects. I'm gonna hit new project and then I'm gonna double click to bring in my After Effects or my Cinema 4D project. Just double click in here, go to desktop, logo, and I'm gonna bring in my Seahawks logo reveal. Okay, there it is. Now I'm just going to drag my Cinema 4D project into this new composition uh, square. Just drag it down here, and that's going to set a new composition with these exact settings. So it's going to be 120 frames long or four seconds. Now, right now, you can't tell because I'm like zoomed in on this. But if I like drag this out here, you can see it. This does not look good, right? Like that's not what we want it to look like. Uh, so we have to change it from software renderer to final so it's going to show us what it's going to look like as a final and I have my um, resolution set to a quarter uh, just because it's faster like if I set it to full it's going to take a while here it's taking a lot longer to render one frame in full resolution there's full resolution right there uh, it's just gonna be quicker if I leave it at quarter to uh, mess around with this now anytime I make a change and save like if I let's just show you real quick if I made a material here and change the color to like this weird color and dropped it right here and hit save file save and then go back to After Effects, it's gonna update it automatically in After Effects, okay? So uh, if you're, the first time you're viewing this, like what it's gonna look like rendered out is in After Effects, like the animation of it, and you don't like it, you can change it in Cinema 4D and it will update automatically in After Effects. So I'm gonna go back here and Control Z, that, and hit File, Save, and it should update back. Okay, so now if I wanna see what this animation is gonna look like before I um, render it, I can just hit the space bar with the timeline selected down here and it will render it out. And this is what I'm saying, if it's in full resolution, it's gonna take a long time with these computers um, and even quarter is gonna take a long time. So I'll speed this up. Um, to show you what it looks like uh, when it's done rendering out. It's gotta go all the way down here to four seconds and then start back here and render each, it's rendering each frame individually to uh, show you what it's gonna look like. So I'll speed it up and uh, show you when I'm done. All right, that took about four minutes, I guess, three or four minutes to render uh, at a quarter 
resolution on this computer so you know not great but uh, here's what the animation looks like and this is why I'd like the only reason you're rendering this is to see what the animation is gonna look like before you export right and I'll, sh I'll show you why like when I went here I'm like inside the eyeball here so I don't know if I like what this is gonna look like so if I play it by hitting the space bar and it looks kind of cool I guess but like if it started like here might be better right I don't know that's just kind of weird at the beginning um, but I could either just export from here right um, I, what I could do to export just from the 11th frame on is pull this in uh, let's see I pull this in and I pull this in and I think that would do it yeah or I could go back here and make that change um, by going to camera dragging this back here and then just dragging out a little bit and then rendering seeing if it's the same that take a while taking a while yeah I could do that and then just click 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 to change the uh, keyframe but I think uh, this is fine right like I'm not getting the full seconds but the full four seconds but that's kind of cool and you have to remember this is at a quarter resolution so it's gonna look even better when you export it but that's it that is it we are done last thing to do is export um, okay so what I'm going to do now is go to composition add to render queue and then um, because I don't have like a background here it's just black nothingness I don't have to worry about uh, the output module or lossless or anything like that I can just change where I want to uh, rent or export it to so I click on Seahawks logo reveal and I'm going to make sure it's saving to that logo folder and it's gonna save as a dot ABI and that's fine because Premiere will recognize that I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit render and that's it and it's gonna take a while to render it might take I don't know how long it's gonna take just hit render and see might take a while I've had I've had three second animations take as long as uh, like three or four hours before and again that's because of the computer that uh, I'm using not great so here we go estimated time 42 minutes so it's gonna take 42 minutes to render uh, those four seconds so about 10 minutes per second all right, but that's it. When you're done rendering out your logo, uh, raise your hand, let me know. But that is it. You have successfully uh, created and animated a logo in Cinema 4D and After Effects. All right, peace.